We're here at the Hexagon UK Smart Manufacturer event at the Seco Tools headquarters now, David. What's the relationship between Seco Tools and, and Hexagon? Well, the two companies have been partners for a long time. Uh, Seco offers very uh, good solutions for tooling and Hexagon has a whole suite of software available for CAM production and, and, and CAD as well. And I guess so that's the, the kind two of the, make a good combination. So when someone's bought a machine, there'll be Seco coming in from one yes. side with the cutting tools, Hexagon yes. coming in yeah. with the ideally, production. Ideally, yes, yeah. yeah. Ideally, obviously, we, ideally. And we also can use their facilities for trying out new strategies uh, with their tooling, of course, to optimize results for customers as well. So you talk about new strategies, you're gesturing to this lovely, yeah, yeah. beautiful part we've got on the table here. Now, um, I'd like to, the viewers to imagine if they were making a part like this, how they would try and use it while they're watching this video. But David, could you explain to me what you're trying to demo here in the software you've used to make the beautiful part? We'll talk about the beautiful part later though. Okay. Well, I mean, in WorkNC, we're using uh, the latest sort of waveform strategies for roughing, for high speed, uh, constant cutter load uh, machining. Uh, it's when you can uh, basically keep the cutter load uh, constant, so you can. It doesn't matter if you're going around corners. You can remove the, the same amount of material, and if the cutter load is constant, you can you can maintain a higher speed, so you can remove more material more quickly. Really, it sounds good. But are yeah. there any more benefits than just extra extra metal uh, removal well, rate? Longer cutter life. Right. Um, surface finish is is kept constant. You don't get any, any chatter marks and things like that. Which they might um, be harder to take out. Yes, later exactly. On. That that all adds to the uh, reworking afterwards. But for, for, for roughing point of view, we're, we're using that to start with. We're, we're, we're using 3 plus 2 technology on the machine here behind me. And we're also using uh, some 5-axis uh, barrel tools uh, for uh, semi-finishing the part and for fully finishing as well. Oh, right. For the semi Why would you use them in the semi-finishing pass as well? Um, it's simply just a, 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 a technology where you can use it on a part like this where you want to be able to get into smaller corners, maybe down to avoid having longer tool lengths. Um, with 3 plus 2 you end up having to sort of attack it from several set directions, whether it's yeah. 5 axis, it's just one continuous movement. Okay. So there's a number of factors really. And for the viewers, I think most of viewers if they watch our videos will probably know what barrel tooling is, yes, but yes. for those who don't know, could you explain just what barrel well, tooling is? Well it's really is? A convex, to convex cutters is what we're talking about, where you're talking like a much bigger radius on a tool um, to give you, to be able to machine the same surface but with a bigger step over. So each, step, each pass takes off more material, so you need less passes, basically. So, okay. it's so you get a, more, a, a larger step yeah, over as general. That's right. Yeah. So how does how does um, work and see um, make it easy to get the best out of those barrel tools? Well, we, over the last few years, the last few releases, we've had a number of uh, improvements with with the use of things like convex tools. So more initially it was just three axis, but now in a lot of five axis strategies also can use these tools as well. So it in, in, in increases the flexibility. Of, of what you can do with these, these kinds of tools. So in this particular example, we're cutting down the side here with a convex tool, uh, which is a large radius. So we're probably taking a, about a one millimeter step over. And this is what we can see on the, on the here, simulation. Yeah, just in slow motion. But the, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably um, three times the size of the step over you would normally take. So apart from anything else, you've just reduced the cutting time by potentially uh, factor of three. Yeah, which so is a hell of a, a lot. Which, yeah, just by using a certain tool and a strategy in work and see. And if we talk about a little bit, part a little bit more now, I mean, this is it's in aluminium, but it's, yes. it, to me, it looks like a mold and die. Would yes, this it, be in a different material if it was in production? Uh, probably it may be in a, in a, in a real, yeah, it's, this is a Dobsey demo part, but yes, and that's it could, for the it speed, could be. speed but of yeah, demo. The same actually. technology applies in either, in either way. But if you'll save it, if it's a steel part and it takes longer, that, that three times saving is greater. Yeah, of course, yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. And not only that, the, the tooling lasts longer as well because if you're using it in a more uh, measured way yeah absolutely yeah. so work nc mold and die people imagine i mean yeah, there's yeah, other yeah. software like visi and work nc as well yes. and people imagine it's just mold and die i mean would you say it, they 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 should they they're pigeonholed into these these applications um, i mean work nc traditionally it was sort of aimed at the mold and die uh field but um and that's probably is the core of our customers but increasingly we find that a lot of prototyping people use it um, where you're cutting in soft materials and also uh, some sort of aer aeronautical and uh, medical applications as well. 
Brilliant. Thank you very much. So for all of those of you, those of you out there who are still using three axis machines for yep. mold and die, for just yeah, yeah, stepping yeah. in and scanning, you can use barrel tooling and yes. work NC, you can use five axis, you can use three plus two. Um, make sure you keep hexagon in mind for production software.